Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a very basic how to play Tekken tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I will show you the very bare basics on how to play this game and how to get better. Without further ado, let us jump right into it. Alright, so we're in the practice mode right now. Um, don't be spooked by the entire roster. Um, if you're totally new to Tekken, just choose any kind of character that you'd like and please. Um, any character is plays obviously different, but patience is really key in every fighting game that there is out there. Um, so just choose any kind of character. If you look deeper into the characters, you'll realize that there is a tier level, uh, fairly much like any other fighting game has, but for now we shouldn't worry too much about it. So in my case, I'm just going to choose Lily. Lily. Right, so what do we do here? Well, this is the moment where we kind of test and try our character, see if we kind of have the right feel for our character. Like, is our character really that cool looking as that he plays or anything else like that whatsoever? So just really see what kind of perks and what kind of quirks this character has. And if you don't like it, and you can always switch but remember Tekken is also kind of of that dedication for that feel of that character if that character you think looks cool but doesn't feel quite that way but you still kind of like that character you will really dedicate to kind of learn that character a bit better but always be open-minded to other characters because the further you progress the more you have to learn about other characters as well it's just something that you have to do in order to get better at it. Okay, so first off, after you tried out your character a bit, what you want to do is go to the controller setup, especially if you're new to it. I already assigned my buttons. Tekken has five buttons already assigned for you. Your left punch, your right punch, your left kick, and your right kick. These are the buttons that are already assigned for you along with your raid chart, which I will cover either now or in the next video. The other buttons, I just put hotkeys on them because I find that to work a bit better for me and my tiny ass brain. So you can put your throws on the L tree and R tree if you want to. You can put your left punch and your right punch on these buttons that you actually kind of see over here. Well, left punch, right punch, uh, L2, left kick, right kick, R2, and left punch, right kick, uh, L1. Now, this may obviously totally differ for you, you may not even use them at all. But if you do want to kind of get comfortable with it, I'd say just use them. Okay, so another thing that you have to remember in tech, this is where it kind of gets mathematical here. We call this a 1, we call this a 2, we call this a 3, and we call this a 4. And these buttons are just a combination of them. This is also what you usually see in a combo. Or in a combo video nowadays, like 1, 2, uh, follow up, 3 plus 4, follow up by uh, 2, 4. You know, that's all That's all these numbers I'm telling you right here. Alright, so those are the numbers. But what you want to do as well is stick this on to L1. And what this does, this L1 gives you uh, a hotkey to little combos or little... Uh, combo starters. For example, square AK1 gives me a half kick. This is not the right button if you would play it without, by the way. If you were to play it this without the hotkey, this would be uh, up forward and then the X, or up forward and then the tree. That's your Capricorn kick. In L1, it's just the square or just the one. For example, you hold down the L1 button and you would follow up with that and end with this, I believe. Yes, you do. And there you have it, your very first six hit combo with the assist. Understanding your character is the most daunting of jobs that there is out there and it's the most daunting of things to do in fighting games. Especially when you look at your character in the move list, Lily alone has 93 attacks, where he's 89 to 93 are all sample combos, so you to get used to your character. Which you can just check it out. Which is really great and handy, of course. 
what you really want to look out for are these green icons. These green icons are your uh, combo extenders. When your opponent is in midair and you do this combo, it will give you an extra combo to finish your opponent off with. I'll just give you an example. A up tree, followed by a one-two punch, and then we'll finish off with the extender. So, boom, and boom, and there's your extender. That's the bedtime story at the end right there. If you want to uh, finish your opponent off entirely, you can uh, do all kinds of crazy stuff at the end. Especially when there's a wall behind her, that's where the fun really starts. Let's just finish off the combo how I usually end it. So a hop kick, a 1-2, the bedtime combo, and I'll try to finish it off with something at the end. <laughs> thing about Tekken is, is that you also have to know your character very well but most importantly have patience. Patience is incredible key. You don't need to learn all of the combos just usually for a character you need to know just a few of them that really uh, help you progress and understand the character more. Now if you look deeper in the, in the Tekken series you understand that there are uh, a thing called frame data which will give you either an advantage or a disadvantage. I don't do frame data in this video, it's too complicated. I might do one in the near future if you guys are really into it. But for me how I play, I just usually play by feel of it. What usually works for any kind of character are regular one-two punches, which are your jabs. Every character also has a hop kick, aka up forward tree which you can follow up by a punch and then what you usually should do is look for that green icon and just do that now you see this is one green icon every character has a few of them for example another of her green icons uh, is this one now this is a relatively s slow kick and well, these three. Well, that one is us n never used for as far as I know. Is this one, for example. Follow up by a finisher, and you have yourself a fancy nine hit combo. So, n knowing how your character kind of plays, knowing how the opponent's character kind of plays, and knowing to look for that green icon, those things are your bare bone basics of Tekken. Now in Tekken you don't, you shouldn't always attack. Sometimes you also have to defend and normally when you stand idly you defend. However if you want to make sure that you are continuously blocking, walk back or duck. Now the last two things are the Rage Art and the Rage Drive. Both of them you will be activated as soon as you have 25% or less HP which you will notice when you have a red aura around you and they can only be activated once uh, per round. Now the Rage Art uh, is a automatic uh, combo finisher like so uh, and it's usually also a panic button for some. Perfect for en ending your combo that you just did. For example with the very simple combo Just press one button and it finishes off for you. Now the Rage Drive is for some characters like Lily a combo extender and for others it's just uh, a big heavy damage hitter where you can do a final big damage hit to finish the opponent off entirely. So that's my extender. So let's use the Rage Drive with a different combo extension, followed by the Rage Drive, followed by a finishing combo. So we start off with a hop kick, combo extension, Rage Drive, and the ender. Which one you will have to use, that's entirely up to you and how you see the situation fit. 
There's no right or wrong. What really matters is that you're really winning in the end, honestly. But it requires some patience and know-how when to use a Rage Drive and a Rage Art. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this how to play Tekken in the most bare bones form that there is. If you did enjoy it, why not leave it a like and subscribe for more future content like this. And if you need any help in any way, shape or sense whatsoever, just hit me up and I'll gladly help you in any way that I can. This is Sargain and I'll catch you in the next one.